Hey guys, welcome to a quick unfortunate video that we have to make today. A critical error on Windows that start menu and Cortana aren't working and we'll try to fix them next time you sign in. And if you click sign out, the chances are 99% that it will not fix anything. Because the problem might have been caused by the last Windows update. If that is the case and you know 100% that only after the last update this has occurred, you go to updates, you view update history, uninstall updates, and check the number of your last update with it and ends with 6616. You find where that number is in your uh, updates here, right click on top of it, click uninstall, close the windows, restart and see if that fixes it. But in my case, I know it is not the update because I caused this problem when I was playing around on System32 just doing a few tests. Well, in this case, let's say, you have only this right here in the middle of the screen. Well, just take it and push it on the side so you can see what you're doing right now. Don't click sign out. On Your start menu doesn't work. If you click the uh, keyboard, it doesn't work. If you click the mouse on top of it, it doesn't work. You right click on top of it and something works. Right click on top of it. Go to Windows PowerShell Admin. The administra uh, administrator one. Click OK, and right here, there will be a code on the description of this video that you will copy and paste on here. When you paste it, hit Enter and let it do its job until it's completely done. When it's done, close this window. Don't do anything yet. Don't sign out and don't restart. At this point, you want to go, if your taskbar doesn't allow you to go to task, task manager, well, hit CTRL, ALT, and delete, and hit task manager. It will pop up there. In my case, I can go to task manager. I bring task manager right here, and uh, you have to find your, in, your uh, file, ex, your explorer on your PC. Usually, explorer has this uh, folder icon on it. Click on it. You could either end the task, which I suggest you restart it before you try. If it doesn't restart, then yes, you can do end task. And when it ends, you will have no desktop or anything in your desktop. You go to file, run new task, and you type explorer.exe and hit OK. And it will bring back your explorer. But as I said, first, try to restart it before you do anything. Restart the Explorer. That's what I mean. And uh, I think with that said, we are done with this video and it will work, which is very funny that we used Windows PowerShell because my next video is going to be on how to remove Windows PowerShell because it's very annoying when it just kicks in on the background and eats your resources from your PC. But in any case, stay tuned for the next video that we are going to disable Windows PowerShell. Because for a home user, honestly, is kind of useless unless you have this critical error, that, which is one in a million. And with that said, please like and subscribe if you don't mind. And anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!